Good morning class. This is Mr. Smith, your science teacher extraordinaire. Today we're in the lab and we're going to be talking about diffusion and osmosis. We have a little bit of uh, dialysis tubing here. It's the same tubing that you use for the treatment of kidney problems. It's called dialysis tubing. You might know someone that uh, has to be on dialysis for health problems. We have some good old caro syrup, and we have a beaker here of distilled water. So let's see what we got going here. I'm gonna measure out about 15 centimeters of dialysis tubing. There we go. Okay, we're gonna take our dialysis tubing, and we're gonna get it nice and wet. And when we do, <clears throat> when we do, we'll be able, it becomes very soft and pliable, and we'll be able to rub it, and it will slip. And when we do that, we can make a little tube out of it. We're going to take one end of our tube and we're gonna tie it in a knot as closest to the end as we can get it. So we're gonna tie a knot in it. We're gonna slide our knot down as close to the end of our tube as we can get it. And we're gonna pull that tight. The other end of our tube and just blow into it and it opens up. Okay, we're gonna take our tube of dialysis, our dialysis tubing, and this can be tricky because, uh, whoa, whoa. And we're just gonna very carefully pour, and we're gonna do this over the sink because we don't wanna make a, a mess here, okay? And uh, we need some more hands, but all I have is my two, so if you have a partner, it makes this even easier. Pour it right down in there. Yep. Okay, so we have a, uh, it's kind of tricky, but we have uh, enough syrup now in the bottom of our little dialysis tube to carry on with the experiment. Okay, now we're gonna, we have uh, enough in our little tube here and we're gonna rinse it off. We're not gonna let water get inside the tube. But we're gonna rinse it off. And then we're gonna tie this end in a knot. And we have the knot and we're gonna slide that knot down as close to the syrup as we can get it. So our little, you might call it a syrup hot dog that we've made, okay? I'm gonna pull it tight. So we have, we've made a little bag. It's, it's uh, sealed on both ends. So nothing can get out because we have knots tied. Now we need to rinse it off really good and get all the sugar off all the out, off the outside of it. Okay, now we're gonna take our little bag which we, we rinsed it off thoroughly and we got all the sugar out of this little part here and make sure there was no sugar in it here. We're just gonna take it and uh, let's just remember what it looks like. How, how uh, what is the width of it in centimeters? It's about uh, 1.5 centimeters or 15 millimeters across. We're just gonna drop it into our little beaker of distilled water. And now all I have to do is, is uh, wait for a few minutes and see what happens. We'll come back in uh, just a few minutes. All right, let's check our little bag. It looks like a little different. It's kind of swollen up now. It's getting a little bigger, firm. It was not firm like this before. We'll leave it in the water for a while longer yet. Let's see what our little bag's doing now. Look at that. It's pretty swollen up. Question is, why is it getting all swollen up? 
Okay, checking out our little tube. You can tell it's really swollen up. And the diameter of it is about two centimeters or 20 millimeters. So it's gone from 1.5 to two, so it's really expanded. Notice also that the distilled water is still clear. So what's happening to our little tube and why? Time to check our bag again. Oh my, look at it now. It's huge. It's getting huge. How big is it? 2.8 centimeters or 28, it's almost three, it's almost 30 millimeters, three centimeters. It's getting, getting huge. Time to check our, our little uh, tube again. Oh, look, what have we got? It looks like the water's all discolored now. What could have happened? And here's our little tube. You can see that it popped. It got so big, it swelled up so big that it just popped. Okay, class. So what we want to do is talk about what happened in our experiment, okay? So we had our little bag. I'm just going to draw our little bag like this, okay? Like that, something like that. And we put our little bag into a container that had distilled water, okay? And in the bag was syrup, which is mostly sugar, okay? So inside, we had a high concentration of sugar, and outside, we had a very high concentration of water. Outside, we had distilled water, which is very close to 100% water outside. The Cairo syrup is about 20% sugar. So inside the bag, we had 20% sugar, and that means inside the bag we had 80% water. So you can see inside we had 80% water, okay? And so we have a higher concentration of water outside than inside, and so the water diffused in to the membrane. Through into inside through the membrane, okay? Uh, this solution then would be called a hypotonic solution. That means that there's less dissolved substances out here than inside. Inside we had 20% sugar. Outside we had 0% sugar. So it's less sugar dissolved in the water than inside. So it's less, which is hypotonic solution. Okay, let's look at a, another uh, example. Okay. Very good. So you might be saying, okay, Mr. Smith, the water went in and but the sugar didn't come out the water stayed clear the sugar that will make the sugar red the sugar that was inside evidently stayed inside until the uh, membrane swelled up so large and it finally popped okay so why didn't the sugar diffuse out, which it did not do. It tells us something about the membrane. The membrane did not allow the sugar to come out. It allowed the water to go in, but no sugar to come out. Therefore, it's called a semi-permeable. Per 
permeable membrane. In other words, it's selective. Only certain things can go in and out. Now, my guess is that if we took the membrane and we looked at it closely with a high-powered microscope, we'd see that the membrane is like this. In other words, it has openings in it or holes. Those holes are large enough. If you remember, the water molecule is H2O. Okay. Water molecule is H2O. Sugar molecule is C6H12O6. It has 24 atoms in it. Water only has three. So this one, the holes are large enough for the water molecules to be able to go through, but the sugar molecules are too large to be able to trap to go, to go through the molecule or through the membrane. Therefore, it's semi-permeable. Okay. okay, rose syrup into our little tube. This can take some time because it's really slow. I'm happy yeah, in your company time. with no emotion because my love We're here for another experiment. Today we're going to be talking about dialysis. That's not right. Zero <clears throat> syrup. This is an interesting experiment. It takes a little time, but I think you'll get a lot out of it. Thank you. Here we go.